Hey everyone, it's John with KG Tropicals and KGTropicals.com. Ever since I started putting that video series about breeding African cichlids together, the most asked question that I've got has been, how do you make these egg tumblers? So now, finally, I'm putting this together for you. The series on breeding African cichlids still isn't done, but I'm going to put this together and uh, show you how we do it. They're easy to build, they're cheap to build, and they work really well. So. Let's go over into the warehouse and I'll show you how to build these. Okay, so here we are with everything we need to build these egg tumblers. Now, you do not need a sponge filter if you're gonna build these egg tumblers, but the reason why I have this here is because I wanted to show you how it all got started for us. We got the general design on how to build an egg tumbler from a video on YouTube. And we looked around and we had a whole bunch of these because we use these in our hatchery. And so we started robbing the top half of a sponge filter. And that worked for the first couple of, of egg tumblers, but then when we wanted to get a whole bunch of them, we started looking at where to buy these parts. And we found them uh, on gemco.com, and uh, I will put the link down below to show you where to get those. But, uh, but that's where we got the idea for our egg tumblers was using the top half of a sponge filter. So what it is, is you have this bullet cap here, and this is what, a, like you just saw, it's what attaches your tube to your sponge filter. You'd run your airline down through here, and that's how a whole sponge filter works. But to use this as an egg tumbler is really quite simple. All you need is another bullet cap. Now doesn't that look familiar? It looks just like our egg tumblers that you've seen in my other videos. Now how to take it from here to make it into an egg tumbler is pretty simple, but I wanted to talk about these for a second. These parts uh, on gemco.com, they're, they're pennies. I mean, they're really, really cheap. I think to buy all three of these pieces would, would probably be $1.50. I mean, it's really, really cheap. Um, you can buy this material here, these, this tube, you can buy them at, at your local pet store, but they come in like three foot lengths and then you have to cut them. And I've always found when we tried to do that, that it kind of cracks and puts kind of a crease in here when you try to cut them. Maybe I just wasn't using the right tool, I don't know. But uh, to me, it's easier if you're gonna be ordering these bullet caps anyway, order some of these too. I mean, they're, they're dirt cheap. So anyway, we've talked about that. Now let's talk about the other things that we're gonna need. This is actually uh, cut from pantyhose. Um, it's not, you know, it's not really thick. It's thin enough. You know, you can see through it. Um, this is what we're gonna use on the top and the bottom of the egg tumbler. Some rubber bands, and then of course your airline. That's all you need to build these things. And what I do, I take, to build the top part of your egg tumbler, I will take the pantyhose, put it over, and then jam your tube down over top of it. Now we need the top to be able to be removable so that we can fill it with eggs. So what we do is we take our rubber band and I'll, I'll double up on the rubber band. These are really, really small rubber bands. And I'll pull this rubber band all the way down to the edge there. This way you can take it off and it's still attached. So now we'll take, and I'm probably not gonna be all that pretty about it here. And I know it's not on camera, but I'm gonna trim this off just so it looks better and you don't have this big pantyhose hanging off of your egg tumbler here. So we'll just trim it off so that it looks better. And this is what you end up with, okay? Now this, being your top, is what's gonna attach to your airline. And there is your top half of your egg tumbler. Very simple. And the netting is there to keep the fry from swimming out of your egg tumbler. So now for the bottom, which is the part where the eggs will actually sit on, it's a little bit easier because you don't have to use the rubber band. Pull it really, really tight because we want the eggs to bounce, like bouncing on a trampoline. So pull it as tight as you can and then just jam the tube down onto there. And then again, 
not going to be on camera, but to make it look nicer, I'm going to trim it off here. Pardon me, I know this isn't very exciting just looking at my dirty countertop there, but it would help if I had a good pair of scissors. So I should suggest you get a good pair of scissors. So this is what you're left with, and that's going to stay on there. And so what we use uh, in our egg tumbler tank, and you can use it if you want to do an egg tumbler tank or if you want to have it in your breeder tank or whatever, we use the little clips that hold heaters onto the glass. I don't have one here to show you, but you all know what they are because they come with your heaters. You can buy those anywhere uh, at any pet store. They sell those and that's how you will attach your egg tumbler to the wall of your aquarium. So that's it. That's how the whole thing works. It's as easy as that. Now what we do, um, the top here will last a good long while. Uh, and we will replace it when it's kind of deteriorated uh, and a lot of times it's a little too late when we find that out because there'll be a hole in it and all of a sudden we'll have fry swimming around the tank and we'll say where'd those come from but the bottom here we will replace this between every batch of fry again making sure that it's really good and tight in there so that the fry the eggs are bouncing on it if it was loose then the fabric would actually flex up and down with the eggs and the eggs won't actually bounce off of it and they can if they're sitting on something they can rot so we want to make sure that is really good and tight if you don't want to use pantyhose you can use a cut up fishnet whatever you want to use i mean whatever will allow the air in the water to circulate through and you can pull it nice and taut it'll work but fishnets and um Pantyhose are the two things that I've heard people using. If you use a fishnet, it's pretty expensive. That's a pretty expensive way to build these. We're trying to do this on the cheap. So a rubber band, some cut up old pantyhose, some sponge filter parts, you got yourself an egg tumbler. And I built probably 40 of these and I don't even think I paid 20 bucks. So dirt cheap to do it. Obviously with this, you're gonna wanna run this to your air pump as far as how many, how much bubble action do you want in here? You want the eggs to be bouncing. You don't want them bouncing all the way up to the top, but if your eggs are bouncing off of the, the bottom net here, that's good. That's all you need. They need to be moving. They need to be constantly moving, not sitting on the bottom. So if you got a big batch of eggs, you got 30 or 40 eggs in there, or that's not even a big batch, but if you had 50 or 60 eggs in there, you might need to turn your air up because there'd be a lot of eggs in there. But I've never had a batch of eggs that's too much for this size of an egg tumbler. So works for us. We've got a whole bunch of them. You've seen my egg tumbler tank. Now you've finally seen how to make them. It's as easy as that. So I will put the link to gemco.com down below and uh, it's as easy as that. So thank you so much for watching. Sorry it took me so long to get this video together, but uh, now you know. Thanks for watching, guys.